Today we're going to show you how to change the hinge bearing on your refrigerator, and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver, a putty knife, a 3 8 wrench, or a 3 8 socket with a ratchet. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first step in this repair will be to open the refrigerator door, and we're going to remove all the items on the bins on the door. We're also going to turn the refrigerator off, just so that we're not wasting any electricity. We can then close that door up. We'll next remove the hinge cap. Now it's held in place with a single Phillips screw at the rear. So remove the screw and then push the hinge cover forward to disengage it and set that aside. We're next going to remove two 3 8 bolts at Hold that top hinge to the cabinet. We want to make sure that that door is in a closed position when we remove these bolts so that it doesn't tilt forward on us. The magnet should hold it in place. Just pivot the hinge, lift it up out of the way. We can now grasp the door with both hands, tilt it towards us, and then we're going to lift it completely off the bottom hinge, and we'll sit it on a suitable work surface so that we can replace the part. Now with the door on a suitable work surface, we're either going to take a flat blade screwdriver or our putty knife, and we'll just go in under the edge of that bearing and pry it outwards. And then we can pull it right out of the opening in the bottom of the door. Now there's a three-sided base on that, so we just line it up in any of those positions. Press it firmly into place. Just tap it in. Until the bottom's out. And now we're ready to reinstall the door. Now when reinstalling, we need to make sure that we line up the opening in the bottom of the door with the hinge pin that's protruding. And it will sit down into place. And just rotate the door into a closed position. We'll next install the hinge. Locate two bolts. And just start those by hand. Now we can tighten those bolts just so that they're engaging the hinge without tightening them up. And then next we'll want to line up that door and make sure that our gap is the same at the bottom and the top between the two doors. And if need be, we'll just pivot that hinge sideways so that we have it nice and even. And it should be flush along the side of the cabinet as well. And then tighten those bolts securely. Next we'll replace the hinge cap. We'll start by sitting it over the top of the hinge and then pulling it back so that it engages on the front and then install the screw at the rear. Yeah. Have to... And next we want to remember to turn the refrigerator back on. We'll reload all the door bins and our repair is complete.